What's up, y'all? I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. If you got a breakdown or a prediction, you can hit my email. That's knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Um, also, man, the TKO debate series is back popping. So if you want to participate at KO Boxing 86 TV, hit me up on my DMs on Twitter, or you can email me. And again, that email, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com. Live shows Wednesday and Thursday night. We live every day uh, on those days at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Don't forget, we got a debate coming up January 25th. Um, Devin Haney, Tank Davis debate. We got BFTB Boxing taking on Boxing Honor the Menace from uh, Queens of the Ring. It's going to be lit, man. Y'all be sure to tune in Wednesday night, January 25th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. But let's get it popping and let's get into our video. And man, 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 we got to talk about this, this Tank Davis pay-per-view numbers, man. We did a live on it last night, but since we did the live, we got more reports. So you got a report, you got people claiming he did 61,000 pay-per-views. You got people claiming he did 400,000 pay-per-views. You got people claiming he did somewhere between 200,000 and 225,000. Right? Then you got the whole people are now saying, well, is Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia even really a big fight? Look, we're going to talk about all that shit, man. But let's start with these Hector Luis Garcia pay-per-view numbers, man. This is like... Let me tell y'all something. I don't know what the, they did, bro. I don't know what they did. I don't know what the numbers are. I don't know. I don't know. They, they 400, 200, 61,000, right? But I do I do think that the 61,000, if you had to pick, I think that's the most cap. I think the 400,000 is the second most cap. I think between the 200, 225, that's probably more accurate, but I don't know. But here's what I do know. I know that the young man is the biggest star in 10 weight classes. From 140 pounds all the way down to 105, that's 10 weight classes. In those weight classes, he's the only one that's fighting on pay-per-view no matter what. He's the only one that got the top dogs from each weight class hoping with his name in their mouth. Remember, Shakur Stevenson ain't never fought at 135 in his life. When he was at 130, he had Tank Davis' name in his mouth. Devin Haney, the undisputed champion at 135 pounds. That dude, that guy, he got Tank Davis' name in his mouth. The guys up there at 140, the two biggest and best fighters at 140 right now, in my opinion. Josh Taylor, Regis Progray, they got Tank Davis' names in their mouth. All right? When Tank Davis go to L.A., the venue sell out. When Tank Davis go to Atlanta, the venue sell out. When Tank Davis go to New York, the venue sell out. When Tank Davis go to D.C., the venue sell out. When Tank Davis fighting in his hometown of Baltimore, the venue sell out. So the man is the star from those lower weight classes and one of the biggest stars in boxing, bro. That, it, it just, that's just a fact of the matter. He breaking attendance records. He breaking live gate records, and he's doing good on, on, on pay-per-view. And this is why I say he's doing good. This is where, like, people need to use common sense. This is where people need to use their own logic, right? Steven Espinosa is the president of Showtime Box. Al Heyman is the runner and owner and leader of the PBC. If you are saying that Tank Davis is losing money and not and underselling on pay-per-views, do you think Steven Espinosa's bosses will continue to allow him to put Tank Davis on pay-per-view? If he ain't making no money, if he ain't generating really good revenue for them, do you believe that Al Heyman is stupid enough to continue to put somebody on pay-per-view that ain't making no money? On top of the fact that we, we know that the man sells out wherever he goes. On top of the fact that everybody in the business of boxing is trying to talk all this shit. Eddie Hearn fighters at 135, 140. Montana Love right now. All Eddie Hearn fighters got Tank Davis' name in their mouth. 
Top rank, the biggest 135ers at top rank, Keyshawn, Vasily Lomachenko, Devin Haney. They all got Tank Davis' name in their mouth. Eddie Hearn sent Tank Davis an offer. Oscar De La Hoya, his fighter, his biggest cash cow in those divisions, Ryan Garcia, now had Tank Davis' name in his mouth for like two, three years, bro. And then, of course, you got PBC fighters that fight under the same banner as Tank Davis. They got his name in their mouth, too. So you got every big promoter in boxing, all they fighters, all want to fight Tank Davis. But then you want to tell me in the same breath that the young man is underselling pay-per-views and he ain't that big of a star. So why the hell do everybody want to talk about him? Everybody want to fight him. Everybody want to offer him fights. Everybody want they guys to get the Tank Davis fight. But you telling me that he ain't generating no revenue and he ain't selling pay-per-views. Explain that shit to me, dog. Explain to me how that shit work. Please. I'm, I, I just, you know. Hey, man. I'm, I'm just, you know, these facts, man. Like, I, I don't know what y'all want me to tell y'all. I ain't giving you no opinions. I'm just telling you what, what, what's going on in boxing, bro. This is why y'all can't mess with your boy, man. <laughs> this is why y'all can't see me. But anyway, let's move on to the Ryan Garcia shit, man. Because of these things that, that people are trying to spew about Tank, right? Because of these false reports of his pay-per-view numbers, then we don't know what's real, and people want to act like they ain't got no common sense and shit. All right? Because of that, people are now questioning whether or not him and Ryan Garcia are the biggest fights, or it is a big fight. This is what I know, man. Devin Haney and Shakur Stevens and Ryan Garcia and Vasily Lomachenko. We'll start with Tank on this one. Ain't none of them did a bigger live gate. Ain't none of them generated more revenue than Tank Davis. That's a fact. That ain't no opinion. That ain't it ain't me just, you know what I'm saying, making shit up. That's a fact. So boom, we'll stop there. In comes Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia had a hometown fight against Javier Fortuna. Devin Haney had a hometown fight when he fought in Las Vegas. Was that Lenares or JoJo? Let me look it up because we don't like the we don't like the we don't do guesswork. We do not do guesswork on this channel, bro. We 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 give you the real shit. I I got it right here. We use what we got. It was JoJo Diaz. And Jorge Linares. Devin Haney had two hometown fights because his pops raised him in, in Las Vegas, bro. It's where he grew up. Okay? Where that's where he resides. So he had his hometown fights there. Shakur fought in the Prudential Center against Robson Consacia. Ryan Garcia in his hometown fight generated more money than Devin Haney in his hometown fights and Shakur Stevenson in his hometown fights. That ain't my opinion. I mean, that information's out there for all y'all. So go look it up if you don't believe it. So you got the two biggest ticket sellers fighting each other. And Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis. So how is that not a big money fight? Furthermore, Ryan Garcia bring a whole f- And I be trying to tell people, man, Ryan, like Ryan Garcia, say what you want. He got a fan base that will never fuck with the likes of Tank Davis or or um, Shakur Stevenson or Devin Haney. Shakur, Tank, Devin, they all share the same fan base, which is primarily black American fight fans. Ryan Garcia brings in Mexican Americans in Mexico. When Tank Davis and, and, and Shakur fight, the people that buy Tank Davis fights also tune in and watch Shakur. The people that, that watch that buy Tank Davis fights also tune in and watch Devin Haney. Ryan Garcia brings in people that do not like to watch those three fighters. Ryan Garcia brings in people that do not that do not cheer for those three fighters. Ryan Garcia is attached to Oscar De La Hoya. So he has the same way that Floyd Mayweather's popularity and his fan base and his hate. Passed down to Tank Davis because he was attached to him. The same shit is happening with Oscar and Ryan, bro. So to act like that ain't the biggest fight, to, to let you know that it's the biggest fight, bro, 
This is how you know. In my in my eyes, a more legacy defining fight is between Devin Haney and Lomachenko. Yet and still, instead of talking about Devin Haney versus Loma, Devin Haney fan channels and Devin Haney channels are talking about Tank and Ryan trying to shit on it and make it seem like it's very small or make it seem like it's not that big. But if it's not that big, why are you choosing to title your live stream or title your video about Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia instead of titling your live stream about Devin Haney and Vasily Lomachenko and just talking about them? Think about that shit. People can try to sway you. People can try to move you in any direction that they want with their words, but your actions show you what you really think because you ain't stupid. Which is why when you wake up in the morning and you get ready to make your live stream, you get ready to make your video and shit, you throw Javante Davis in that motherfucker, man. Yeah, you you throw Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia in that motherfucker, man. That's why people do that shit. Because they know that's what people going to come look at. They know that that's the biggest and hottest topic. So that's what they talk about. You don't put Devin versus Loma in that shit. You, you'll put Devin in it if you're talking about Devin and Tank. You'll put Bill in it if you're talking about Bill Haney saying something to a Tank Davis team member. But you will not just title your shit Devin versus Long. <laughs> you won't do that shit. So people can tell you, oh, it ain't a big fight. So everybody watching this video, if you hear somebody, if you hear a content creator telling you, or somebody come in the chat telling you that Tank versus Ryan ain't a big fight, that Tank Davis ain't, ain't this star that... that that, that people say that he is. This is what you ask them, bro. These are, these are the things you ask them. Hey, if Tank and Ryan ain't a big fight, why is that the title of your video? If Tank and Ryan ain't a big fight, why don't you talk about something that's bigger down at the lightweight division? You probably get blocked. <laughs> You'll probably get blocked for that shit. But that's telling, bro. And that's why people, you know, that's why we do what we do over here, man. The people when they try to. And they try to come at your boy, man. Come on, dog. And then the other thing you tell them: everybody in boxing disagrees with anyone that's saying that Tank Davis ain't the biggest star from 140 down and one of the biggest stars in boxing. And the way you know everybody in boxing disagrees, because from top rank to Eddie Hearn to uh, Matchroom to Zone to Golden Boy to PBC, everybody want to be in the Tank Davis business, bro. Everybody want they fighters to fight him. All these fighters that he got his name in their mouth. Because they know he that guy. They know that he the biggest name, bro. And that shit is just undeniable. If you think Devin Haney whoop his ass, bro, you think Devin whoop his ass. If you think Shakur beat his ass, you think Shakur beat his ass. If you think Loma can get him, Regis can get him, Josh Taylor can get him. If you think these guys beat him, then that's a different conversation than just admitting that the man is big time when it comes to putting on the biggest fights from 140 down. He's the biggest name in 10 weight divisions from 105 to 108, 112, 115, 122, 126, 130, 135, 140. That's nine. Nine divisions. He by far the biggest name. The only you got to get to welterweight before you find somebody that's selling on the same level or more than him, and that's Earl Smith Jr. But then he sell more than anybody at 154. <laughs> He sell more than anybody at 160, but then you got to get to 168. Canelo does better than him. Then he sells more than anybody at 175. Then you got. Then he sells more than anybody at cruiserweight. Then you got to get to the heavyweights. You can only pick out three weight classes in all the boxing with like 80,000 weight classes. You got to pick three weight classes where you can finally find somebody that puts more, that sells more tickets and does better pay per views than him. You got to go to heavyweight. You got to go to super middleweight, and you got to go to welterweight. Other than that, he's stepping on all of them. But you tell me he ain't a big star, man. And you tell me him versus Ryan ain't a big fight. Let's just stop the hate and keep it real. We can say that you can say, hey, like, bro, it, you can say Shakur Stevenson is a master class boxer, and you think that he beat the shit out of Tank Davis without having to take a shot at Tank. And try to act like he ain't shit. 
You can say that Devin Haney is a master class boxer. He won all the smoke. He's the youngest undisputed champion that we have had in the sport of boxing. He going to box Tank Davis' ears off. Tank won't be able to touch him. You can say all that shit without trying to belittle Tank Davis. You can build Devin Haney up. Devin versus Loma is a huge fight. It's a fight for legacy. This is going to be something where Devin lay down a demo and Devin's going to have the best win on anybody's resume. Way better win than any win Tank got. Way better win than any win that Shakur got. You can say all that shit without trying to act like Tank Davis ain't stepping on people when it pertains to the money that he brings to the table and the revenue that he generates, bro. Why you got to try to lie on that man, try to belittle that man to try to build up this other young man? I don't understand that shit about y'all, man. But anyway, that's all I got. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment down below. Smash the like. Sub to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing 86 TV for breakdowns and predictions. Hit us up. Knockout Boxing 86 at Yahoo.com. TKO the base series back popping. You can hit that same Twitter handle. You can hit that same email address if you want to join the TKO the base series. And y'all know your boys live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7:30. Y'all know your boy is live with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Central Time. And you know we got a fire debate coming up. Devin Haney versus Tank Davis debate. BFTB Boxing versus Boxiana the Menace from Queens of the Ring. We're getting it popping. 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Wednesday, January 25th. Channel taking off. Channel popping. We're going to keep working. Smash my like button. Appreciate y'all watching. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.